Ahoy guys. Well you know my philosophy on this old boat has always been first make it seaworthy, second live aboardable, and third the looks. Well I've got it pretty much seaworthy and live aboardable but there's always little things that you can do to fix it up. Now I've got a few old through hauls that I don't use anymore you know where some of these kind of things are in there where you you have a speedometer or something I don't know anyway these kind of bother me so I want to take them out and then I have a couple other through hauls that have the old uh, like a water faucet type of cutoff valve it just really isn't that good plus uh, my sinks drain below the water line and I want to take those and drain them out the side instead of straight down. So I got a few epoxy fiberglass projects I'm going to do. And I went with the new Seahawk um, Hawk Epoxy. We're going to try that. I mean the Seahawk name, you can't beat it. It's really easy to use. You know, one pump resin, one pump hardener. They got a couple different um, fillers that you use depending on what you're going to do and of course uh, the fiberglass matting. So let's get to work on that today. First thing we need to do is take out all the old through hulls. That's going to take a little bit of time. Well, all right guys I'm getting ready to do this work on filling some old through hulls that I took out and you know this is a through hull. I want to make sure I get it right. So I'm with Eddie, the foreman at uh, the Sailing Emporium, to make sure I'm doing this right. Because Ed, this is a, this has got to be done right. Yeah, it's got to be done. You don't want any kind of water intrusion going through the hull at any point. Uh, it'll just uh, call your headaches down the road. Okay, right? so what do, what do I got here? Uh, what you got, your, your through hulls you took out, they were actually flush mounted through hulls, which means the flue hulls themselves were, were even with the, uh, the bottom. You know, they weren't mushroom style, they were flush mounted. So uh, because of that, your, your bottom was cut out. Uh, the through hull was recessed into the hull, uh, so it was flush across here. Normally what we do is just lay some glass across the bottom here, you know, if it's, if it's a regular hole, and then we, uh, then we start building in from the inside, uh, from the outside in. What we're going to do on this one is do just the opposite. What we're going to do is have you uh, put a few layers of glass across the top here, and then start building in from the outside uh, to, the, to fill this void in here and then uh, let it set up and then you just come back and lay some more layers of glass to slowly fill this in until it's uh, flush with the rest of the hull and then also uh, what you want to do is go out a few inches on each side of the hole and just make sure you got a couple layers of good glass around each side of that hole so everything's filled in and, and covered. What you don't want to have is uh, any voids in, in here because that'll just be a way for water to get in and then set and then once it gets in there it'll start working its way through the rest of the bottom. So you want to make sure you lay layers in, uh, let it set up and then lay a couple more, you know, two or three layers at a time. Let that set and just work your way all the way down to the, uh, to the actual bottom outside. Okay, so I want to make sure that when I'm doing my sanding I don't want to just get the bottom paint off. I want to get right down to the fiberglass. Yeah, you want to get uh, take off the gel coat, uh, barrier coat, get right down through the glass, and we'll start off fresh with the fresh with the glass, and then build it back up to uh, match the rest of the bottom. Okay, well, guys, now we've heard it from the expert. Let's put it in practice and see how well it works. Eddie, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Tom. Well, I sanded all the areas inside and out, right down to bare fiberglass then cleaned them nicely with a um, fiberglass cleaner. All right, so now here's what I've got. This might be a little overkill, but hey, it's a through hull under the water. So I've got this, my woven, my omnidirectional, my woven. So I'm gonna put those together, layer at a time, and I'm gonna use the Seahawk uh, epoxy here. Now when we start the outside we're going to use this F2 as a structural uh, fairing compound, a, a thickener. You'll see after we let this sit a little bit then we're going to build that up a little bit out there. Now the way this works, very easy. Green, green. We're going to put this in here, one pump of resin. Here we've got the brown, C2, 
catalyst, C2 and 3, brown, brown, one pump. Now I'm going to use, of course, more than one pump. I think I'm going to mix up, and, and one of the key things is when you mix your epoxy with the resin, make sure you get it mixed really, really well before you start applying it. And then we also have a roller, you'll see that we roll, make sure all the air bubbles are out. All right, let's mix it up. Now these pumps are specially designed and calibrated to dispense the correct amount of resin and hardener. So when you first put the pumps in, or re-put them in from, from storage, you're going to have to kind of like prime them. You see how I'm getting no product. What you want to do is make sure that you're getting a full pump so that it's properly mixed. And you may say, well this is wasting a little bit. It's not really. All right, now I've got these primed and I'm ready to do my work. So it's one pump of resin, one pump of catalyst. And the key thing here too is make sure this gets really well mixed before you start applying it or adding any of the fillers to this. And that's how easy it is with Hawk Epoxy. One pump, one pump. Make sure you prime the pumps. All right, so now we're going to get ready to start laying our fiberglass in here. Hey, look at my gloves, just like kindergarten, so I know my right from my left. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this nice and soaked here. Lay my pad in here. And soak it up nice. Be bashful. Remember, this is a through haul. Then, how many? You want to make sure everything gets good and wet with the epoxy. Now on the outside, we're going to fill that hole and we're going to put a thin layer of fiberglass out there too, just to give it some extra strength. Then we'll be filling the hole with some fiberglass and that, of course, the high strength filler that we have from the Seahawk. Alright, now, this is important. Make sure you roll this. Get this helps make sure everything is good and wet. That looks good. All right, now I'm going to do that on the other holes. We'll see you on the other side. Well, I just tested everything. It looks like it's pretty tacky. I think we're ready to start filling. I'm going to use the structural adhesive filler. Now, you don't want to breathe this stuff, so I do have a breather mask. It's an old one, but hey, it'll work. All right, so now I'm not going to fill the hole the entire way the first time. We're going to do it in two, maybe three layers. You know, give this time to set up. Uh, so I'm going to do a couple layers. We'll let it get tacky, come back and do a couple more. All right, let's mix this stuff up again. You know, the key, make sure it is well mixed. And as to how much of this you need, depends on how thick you want to make it. Now, like I said, you don't want to breathe this. You want to be very careful with pouring this. I'm outside, so I'm going to come down here where the wind doesn't get it. Now, you see the consistency I have? I want to make that just a little thicker. Now, again, I'm going to stir it slowly and add a little bit at a time. All right, that's a good consistency now. You see how I, well, that's a nice, that's going to stick in there. And then I'm just going to use a stick to 
push it up in there and we should be good to go. Let's get back down to work right away. All right, so there's my hole. I want to get this patched in there as quick as I can. Look at that. Nice. Let's fill that hole. And overfill it. Like this. Then we're going to stick this up in there. I should have put my gloves on. We want that to be nice and soaked with this fiberglass with the fiberglass too, you see. Now I'm gonna let that get tacky, then I'm gonna come back. We're gonna add a couple more layers, just like this. I'm gonna cut them a little bit closer though. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other holes. I think you got the idea. I continued to add fiberglass and the mix using the uh, structural adhesive and make sure that all the areas that you expose are covered with fiberglass before you start bottom painting. Now I put three coats of fiberglass on all of the bare areas that I had exposed. Then I just added the uh, two coats of bottom paint. We put the boat back in the water. All the holes are nice and secure. And thanks to Seahawk Epoxy, I'm good to go and all the water is on the outside of the boat.